What's up, everybody? <clears throat> so, last night was New Year's, or New Year's Eve, rather, so today's New Year's, and I got to Osaka to wait for a friend of mine, and I had like 20 minutes, and I know that near where I was, there's a book-off, which is a bookstore, new, and I believe some used, I'm not 100% sure, I've never bought any books there. <laughs> But while I was in there waiting, kind of wandering around looking for some manga, I noticed uh, a video game section. Now, I own a PS Vita, and every now and then I would kind of take a round look just to see if I see any games that kind of strike my eye. And I'm still on the look for a PS3. I want to get a PS3 here in Japan to play with uh, friends back home. And I happened to notice a section of games that were... Super Famicom games, uh, the Super Nintendo, back in America. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, I guess about two or three months ago, I picked up a Super Famicom. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I was chronicling my Super Famicom adventures in Super Mario World. Every time I beat a new castle, I'd take a picture, just to, just to do it. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know about what you're about to see because my mind was blown when I found these. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a video game nerd, although even though I'm wearing a video game shirt. I do have a few video game t-shirts, but I do like video games. Um, to me it's kind of like a stress release, I guess, whenever you're stressed out or, you know, you're going crazy, you just want something to do, so play some video games. But I thought, a long time ago, I thought, man, Japan is the mecca of video games, right? But since I've been here, I haven't really played any. I've only played maybe, I don't know, not much. I, I haven't played any PS3. I played some arcade games when I first came into the country with some friends in a, in a, in a game arcade. Uh, Virtual Fighter. Actually, no, Tekken. I played Tekken. Uh... But since I bought my Super Famicom, I do play it from time to time. Not very often, but like I had a friend come over the other night, and we enjoyed that. Because he said he hadn't played Famicom since he was a kid. So, what I saw there was some brand new Super Famicom games, still in the boxes. Now, buying them still in the boxes is kind of a waste of time, really, because all I'm going to do is take it out of the box and then play it. Because I bought some games that I actually want to play. There were games there for very cheap that are games that I know would sell for high prices back home. But I, you know, I couldn't see the point of buying it right now. I gotta just go back and get it because it doesn't look like it's gonna be selling anytime soon. Like for instance, if you're a fan of Super Nintendo, Chrono Trigger in the box, brand new, never used, for what equates to about five dollars American. That's a pretty good deal. But what I did buy was F-Zero. If anybody is a fan of Super Nintendo, you probably know F-Zero. I don't know if you guys can make out the original price there. 6,797 yen. So about 70 US dollars is what this game would have cost when it first came out. And I got this for about $5 US. And I was first, I was like, no, nah, I don't really need the game. I could pass it up. But then I saw this. And when I saw this, brand new, in the box, I had to have it. This game was approximately three US dollars. It was 250 yen. And when I saw this, I said, because the last time I had a Super Nintendo, I just purely collected fighting games. All the 2D fighters I can get my hands on, I bought. And probably that's what's going to end up happening again. I'm just going to buy 2D fighters when I see them. Because there are a couple of other games I really want, like Rock and Roll Racing, kind of like F-Zero. I want Mario's and whatnot. But what I want to do now, because I'm already four and a half minutes into this and I haven't done it yet, I want to do an unboxing. <laughs> You're thinking, what? But if you ever watched any unboxing, you know what you're in for. If you've never watched an unboxing before, then maybe this is your first time doing something like that. But I just thought it'd be neat to do an unboxing for something like this. Because obviously these kind of games weren't around when 
the when there was no advent of YouTube, right? When these were around. So how cool would it be to unbox this on YouTube? Maybe for F Zero I'll do it too, I'm not really sure. But this Street Fighter 2 Super Nintendo that's just bad to the bone. So I mean it's like here's the cover, here's the back. Yeah. I mean how awesome is that, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So here, let's check it out. Breaking the seal. I'm still so pumped that I found this brand new. I love this game. I've never, I've actually never opened a Super Nintendo game in my life. I've never had a brand new Super Nintendo game. Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. Wow, so awesome. Ryu, Honda, Blanca, Gao, Ken, Chun Li, Zengi, Daozim, M. Bison, Sagat. Yes. So, as I thought, it was. It's been different in uh, the Japanese. And then there's Balrog down here. And, oh, I'm sorry, Balrog, the bosses, and Vega, the boss. So I don't know, <clears throat> in the original you couldn't play as them, you can only play against them. But I always thought the names were different for these characters in the Japanese game, as they were in America. Um, but I wasn't 100% sure, and sure enough they are. Very cool. Wow, I'd even tell you how to do all the moves for the characters. Oh, that's so awesome. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Street Fighter 2. Instructions on how to use your Super Nintendo. Or your Super Famicom, I'm sorry. My warranty card? Oh no, I can fill it out and tell them how I felt about the game. I wonder if anybody would actually get this if I sent it off and what they would do. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Breath of Fire. I have here some ads for a Super Nintendo. Oh, a wireless fight stick. Oh. Wireless Super Nintendo fight stick and only $100. Final Fight, 8500 yen. I actually have Final Fight 2 here in my house. I love that game. Breath of Fire. Oh no, Chrome Marikura. Oh, wow. Choma Kai Mura. Freaking Ghosts and Goblins. Or go, go, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Ah, I actually really want that game. That'll be another game I buy. Probably one of the hardest games I've ever played on Super Nintendo. So let's see. I still got time. We're a 10 minute video. Should I go ahead and open up F Zero? Yeah, why not? I think I can do this in less than a 15 minute video. I'm only at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Here we go, ladies. We're gonna. Here, F Zero. What the da? One of the most difficult racing games I ever played. Cool little cartoon. Let's press it open. 
It's like it's like Christmas in my house. There we go. Okay, F zero. Instruction manual. When is there being any extra cars here? In the original, the blue falcon, the golden fox, the wild goose, and the fire stingray. Yeah, okay, so just the original four, that's cool. This game had fantastic music, too. Oh, cool, there's more cartoons inside. There's essentially like a whole manga inside. I've never seen the manual for the American version. Start. Hmm. And then there's the story of Captain Falcon in Japanese. This one doesn't have all the uh, how to play the game. I mean, how to uh, set up your Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, so now I am going to play some Super Street Fighter. I mean, some Street Fighter 2. And as soon as I get myself a second controller, then I have more people come over and play. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Hard to believe Super Nintendo games used to cost like $90 each. Wow. And that was just what? 20 years ago? Yeah, something like that. We've come a long way. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This has been a Super Nintendo game or Super Famicom game unboxing. If you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know. I uh, I don't really know what I want to do. Just random stuff. I might start doing some videos on hookah. If you guys know what hookah is, um, mizu tobacco in Japanese. Uh, tobacco. Mizu tobacco. Sorry. Um. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know. Uh, yeah. I've got another video coming soon about the Nabe party and just some New Year's parties that I did, I went to. Um, so look forward to that. Hopefully I'll get that done in the next couple of days before I go back to work. Yeah. So anyway, have a good one, guys. And I will catch you later. Cajun Gaijin, out.